Um, hi, yes, this is Amy Green. I was just calling from the other phone because both my phones started locking up when I went to video log this stuff, and I know I've had some of that taunting and interference going on off and on the night in my business. So whether or not you got the other uh, message where I said I, that that leak, that temporary fix in the chimney is definitely leaking, and I don't know how much more heavy rain we're going to get to whether or not you even have a service that comes out in the emergency or if it maybe just first thing tomorrow if somebody can get back with me because I never did hear the rest of the information about that you know how your estimate was like over seven thousand dollars to the rest of it they only sent a check for like forty two hundred and I knew it was going to be a little bit less but that was like way off so two different people from Indiana farmers were checking into it but I don't know for sure between Paul and the original adjuster if they have figured anything else out between them they haven't gotten a hold of me i don't know if they gotten a hold of you i had reached out to you another time in between there but i haven't been hearing anything else from anybody for a little bit and i've just been waiting till i knew for sure i was going to have the right amount of money um if you can give me a call back it doesn't matter if you do get this because i can tell it's not going to quit dripping in there and it may not do anything that's you know maybe just drying up will be all right but I was a little worried just to hear it. it's kind of unnerving to have to lay here and listen to it drip. So it is 2336 Central Standard Time, May 14th, 2023. Uh, thank you. If you're satisfied with the message, press 1. To listen, to send your message with normal delivery, press 1. To send, thank you. Your message has been sent. You know what to do about this one. <laughs> it just got all mad and locked up when I was taking a picture of my, I mean, clothed. It's not naked. The naked stuff I was looking at in the bathroom and teasing going, well, I guess if they're looking in through my phone, they're seeing some stuff. <laughs> I ain't got to put that on something, you know. But that was just for my personal, checking it out. Got to do that. Got to do something. It's funny how often something on my my devices will lock up as though someone else can remotely access them. And I know other times they have. So that's my whole point is there is a catch-22 that I'm not doing anything at all wrong. And the worst venting I do, I usually keep that private. But when I do even, that's still all, that's all I do is vent about it. And I know there's someone in my business. And I know they, they'll, whether or not they can make my roof leak, spring a thing you know for the temporary fix bust through that's pretty drastic but they will probably take credit for it that's what i'm saying i will get the things here and there about other people this person this person this one will make a complete story and i've lived that 24 7 not just hints of that words verbatim from my private information like they're letting letting you know they're in there that's gaslighting i should have had somebody check it out when i found my microphone and my uh camera on the laptop were turned on remotely, I guess, in 2010. But they had me scared into thinking that they were going to cover something up. Like I had Davey buy that scrubber, and I thought, I'm just going to protect myself from whoever's hacking. Well, they were already in there real far anyway. And so I got ready to go put that on the computer and wipe it out, and suddenly these things were popping up. People were saying all around me, well, if somebody sure has something to hide. Why is she going to get rid of all that and stuff like that? I was like, that's not a coincidence. And then they would say something from my private stuff I was saying. That's what I was living with. That might happen by accident once in a while. You take those factors that are a very real thing. And even if I was wrong, it's my right to believe that. You know, I wouldn't be focused on it if it hadn't caused me so much trouble when someone, if they could have just checked it out. If it's a combination of someone stealing identities and hiding stuff from 30 years ago, somebody's trying to qu keep me quiet for a reason. I must be right about something. And even if I'm not, that's what I'm saying. I go back to that and I think... Okay, so who would it be and why and why would they have access? Well, there's like three or four people right off the top of my head that are girls that have either attacked me physically or threatened to and taunted and have connections to stuff with similar names. So I can tell right now it looks like the filter on here and I ain't put a filter on it. It's kind of like now it's not. But anyway, so yeah, there's a thing that... There is definitely something else that is not my imagination. Now, if I if I think of this or that, trying to come up with ideas to answer why it would happen, I might be wrong. That might be imagination. But the source of what it is, 
There may be natural coincidences falling in between, but the source is definitely not my imagination. The whole thing is, if you know that someone's in my business, even if you want to call my anxiety mental illness, which it is exacerbated to the nth degree, I have PTSD from being arrested with no warrant two times, multiple paperwork forged and done wrong, just in what I know about. But that all came from me being bothered by someone in my business from something that was already going on. And then we have what one of the other people, the ex-husband, that said that he lied a long time ago and that he had the missing piece of my puzzle he wanted to tell me, but it would break my heart. That's just piece by piece by piece. If you saw the bigger picture, you would understand. I don't want to put my life out there at all, but I'm doing it to protect myself because I guess I didn't speak up enough before. I, I only told a person here and there and they just thought, oh, well, she's just looking for attention. No, I had all the positive attention I needed. Me and Davey had our original music. We had had some success. Just a little cover band stuff, you know, that too. We put it all on hold for focusing on the family and the kids. And I had my creative writing stuff. But if there was someone else in my business, then I know there was. Some of you may not know. If you do know, then I'm preaching to the choir. Because how I'm not just going to guess that. If there's something you know that they won't let you talk to me about. And uh, whenever that started happening, it's just like all of a sudden these things were just happening. It's like they were closing in on trying to shut down and make me feel less comfortable online when that was my outlet as a stay-at-home mom. Whenever you sift through the mix, probably I'll be wrong about some of it and write about some of it, and somewhere in between is where the real answer lies. But I won't be doing this. I have a lot of other things I'd probably rather be doing. I was getting ready to go to bed, and just the things that here and there were going on, and then these devices when I tried to make documents. If this one disappears, I'm going to know for sure. And I'm going to be out in my lawn with a giant lawn. I'm going to put a sign out there. It says, I'm, my communications are being blocked again. Check into it at this time and see why.